Hi everybody, thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. So yeah, I've been away for a while and so if you haven't tuned in before, this is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I meditate and I talk about spiritual topics that I need to hear to keep me on track, right? And I will tell you that it's been incredibly overwhelming and life has been filled with a lot of trials and tribulations for everybody, not just me. The astrology has been beyond belief and it's been that way for a long time. So aside from what I'm going to say here, breathe, remember to breathe because that'll help. So what I want to talk about today and is what I need to hear today is to really, um, go about living your life with conscious intent. I was listening to a guy online a couple of days ago and he was talking about living with intent, living your life with intent. And I'm taking it a step further. Uh, his name is Trent Sheldon. I'll put a link, but it conscious intent, because if you don't know what you want, then how are you going to manifest that? How are you going to make your life what you want to see, right? So first, 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 you have to become conscious about what you want to manifest. What is your intention? What do you, how do you want to live? What do you want to happen? So if you can clearly see and clearly identify consciously what you would like to manifest in your life, then you have a much easier time getting there. <laughs> And especially when you're going through trials and tribulations, it's more important than ever to really be clear about what you want to see happen. Okay. And so once you become conscious, identify what you want, then you can set out with that intention, right? That's when you use your manifestation powers and your manifestation knowledge. And I did vlogs about all of that stuff in the 12 spiritual laws. And so you can become a conscious manifester, live life with conscious intent. What do you intend to do in this life while you're here? Do you intend to just be a victim and let life and its trials and its tribulations and its lessons take you down and allow you to be a victim? No, 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 no. You are going to take control of your life. Like I'm going to take control of my life and I'm going to live with conscious intent all the time. And right now when <laughs> things seem so overwhelming is the most important time to become very conscious and live with <laughs> intention because it's easy to allow life to just wash over you like a wave and wash you away. <laughs> I, I mean, sometimes laughter is the only thing that, that brings levity to <laughs> the situation. So you can really say, damn, what the hell? And finally, in order to really, really seal the deal and make things happen the way you want, you've got to identify potential problems that you bring to the table that would pro prohibit you from doing that. Like if you allow yourself to fall into a negative, you know, cycle of thoughts or even words that reinforce whatever problems that you're dealing with. Um, it's so easy when you're going through trials and tribulations and lessons to just blather on about all your problems because you want to kind of offload it, but really what it does, it almost seals it in to the manifestation process, right? So identify those things that would keep you stuck and not allow you to live with conscious intent. And so it's about being conscious at the forefront and conscious all the way through and eliminate those things that you bring to the table that would prohibit you from really manifesting and getting out of whatever problems or trials or lessons that you're having to deal with and let you rise above, right? <sighs> Oh my gosh. So that's my lesson for today because dang, have I been dealing with some stuff, man. Bam. <gasps> but I'm back in my sauna. Thank God. Thank goddess. And it makes me feel so much better. And I'm going to meditate on this message so that I can really remember that I have to really consciously live with a conscious, conscious intent and stop putting myself in situations that would undermine that and give thanks for all of my blessings that I do have, which are many, 
right? So I hope this helps anybody out that's, that's struggling and please feel free to reach out. I am still offering a free one question question reading if you subscribe and I know I'm a little behind. Please be patient, but I do, I will fulfill that promise. And so thank you so much. Please subscribe. I really want to be of service. I really, really, really do. And so... Oh,